What's up, Facebook? What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. It is a 3.38 on Tuesday. Just heading home from my corporate accounts, my, uh, my corporate boot camps, corporate training accounts. Heading home on a nice, sunny day. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is one of my favorite weeks of the year because it is the opening days for training camps in the pros. Hey, babe. Baby doll, I'm home soon. I'll be home soon. Um, this week is the opening day for training for teams across the NFL. My boys, my Cowboys, report to camp on Friday. And as they have done for the last several years, and, and as they've done on and off for 30 plus years, they do training camp in California. So they're in Oxnard. What's up, Jay Side? They're in Oxnard. So uh, they'll be flying out here on Friday. As he's driving out here, uh, the team will, but the, the players report on Friday. So it reminds me of just, you know, my playing days and getting ready, my boy Jay Side getting ready for for football season and, and grinding and, and that last bit of, of time before it really starts, before the, uh, the, the enjoyment of running around playing football starts. Uh, but I'm reminded this week in particular about a trip that we took. What's up, Greg? Uh, we went down as a family to Oxnard like f maybe four or five years ago we drove down. We've gone a few times, but this trip in particular uh, always stands out to me. So we we drove down early on a Sunday. They were doing a scrimmage that day. And we packed our, our car up early Sunday morning and drove down to Oxnard. It's about a four hour drive. And I remember how exciting how exciting it was. It was the first time the kids, uh, they were like, I don't know, like four, four and six maybe, or, four, or five and eight. They were young. And it was the first time they were gonna see the Cowboys in person. <clears throat> and I remember, and uh, you know, I'm still a kid, you know, when I, when I, I'm not, when I go see, you know, any pros in, in action in person, it still kind of reminds me of, of being a kid, not a fan necessarily. I still feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great things. I don't get all, you know, I don't get all crazy about it, but it is, it does feel good. So I remember how excited we were as a family to go down there. And we had the car packed up, we went to McDonald's, we got uh, you know, our pancakes and sausage meals and the orange juice and kids were excited. It was early in the morning, the sun was just coming up and, and we took off. And I remember the first 30 minutes we were so excited about just heading toward Oxnard and the fact that in about four hours we were gonna be watching Tony Romo and, and, and Des Bryant and all the cowboys that my kids knew about. We're gonna see them in person in about four hours. And so we were singing songs and we were like laughing and having a good time. So that's how that's how the trip started. What's up, Coach Richie? Right, and I remember if you flash forward, I remember about four hours later when I woke them up from sleeping and it said City Limits, Oxnard, California, home of the Dallas Cowboys training camp. I remember waking them up and saying, guys, we're almost here. You know, we're almost there, look at the signs. And I remember how excited they were, like, oh my God, we're almost there. You know, we would see signs, you know, along the streets, you know, Cowboys training camp, July, whatever it was, through whatever it was. Oxnard, California, welcome to the Cowboys. And so I remember how excited it was and, and, and what renewed energy I got once I saw how close we were. And I've always thought about that trip in terms of our goals in life, right? The things we want to do in life. Lose 30 pounds, build a business, build a relationship, get a degree. All those things that require time is the same exact concept as a road trip, right? We all are excited when it first starts, right? The first few miles of that, the first few miles of that journey, no matter how crazy the journey is the first few miles are always fun get your new shoes you join the gym you get a new outfit right you enroll in your first course you get a brand new book you're feeling good about it you know all you know you have a new relationship you know you're, you're starting off it feels good and you, 
it always starts good. The first few miles of any trip, of any goal, of any journey always feels good, right? And guess what? When you get close to the finish, it feels good. When you finally see that you're almost there, right? When you that last five pounds of losing weight, like that last five pounds before your goal of a bench press, right, Richie? That last mile of a marathon, right? That last, you know, once you finally see your kid turning around and, and the relationship is getting right and, 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 and things are feeling good, right? That last year of school, that last quarter of school, that always feels good. That's the last miles of the journey. So, so when, you, when you get in the city limits, it always feels good, right? So the beginning feels exciting, and, and, and energetic and the ending feels exciting and energetic but guess what between all that shit between the beginning and the end are a lot of miles in the middle that's what I call them the miles in the middle so greatness those who are great they, they, yeah they start the same way you start and if you ever get close to the finish they finish the same way you finish. The difference is they run the miles in the middle. They drive the miles in the middle. They work the miles in the middle. Simple as that. They work the miles in the middle. So it was a 400 mile trip to Oxnard, right? We all do miles one through 30, all of us easy. I'm driving, I'm awake, the music is popping, I'm feeling good, I'm energetic, I'm excited. Right, we all do that. We all do the last miles. Once you see city limits, Vegas, we here. City limits, LA, we here. Last quarter of school, last five pounds. It's easy, right? But where you at in mile hundred? Right, where you at in, in Salinas and, and and Bakersfield on, on the way to your to where you want to go? Where you at there? Right, when I'm driving and 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 my wife is asleep and the kids are asleep, that's the miles that count. Right, where you at? After your friends drop off and say, let us know when you lost 30 pounds. The first week, they, they, they with you. All right, good job. I'm proud of you. you pushing hard, right? Month one over, they ain't with you no more. Now what you going to do? Right? Your first quarter of school is great. You got a new roommate. You know, got new classes. Got a new outfit. You're feeling good, right? But you know, when you're a sophomore, all that, all, that, all that good feeling wears off. Now where you at? Not a senior yet. No longer a freshman, you gotta grind, right? So it's the miles in the middle that make a difference. And so when you, when you, and the, and the problem is, we set off on these journeys, not anticipating the miles in the middle, right? You don't go into a, a road trip to Vegas and not pack stuff and not bring money for gas, not knowing that you might need a monster or rock star drink to get you through the, through the grind of those miles in the middle. Right, you prepare for it because you know it's a long trip. Right, I know my journeys are long. I knew the journey to being fit was long when I was 14. So I was ready for the road trip to fitness, to greatness. Right, when I started my MBA program, I knew it was going to be challenging working a full time job, just trying to start a company, getting married and then having a kid. I, I knew it was going to be hard, but I was prepared for it mentally. So you have to go into these journeys, guys, understanding it's a long road trip, understanding that the miles in the beginning are easy, the miles at the end, if you get there, are easy. The miles in the middle are what count. The miles in the middle are what matter. The miles in the middle, the hard ones, make a difference. All right? So you can do it. I promise you can, you can lose that weight. What's up, Matthew? You can lose, uh, you can become more muscular. You can get that bench press you want, Coach Richie, that squat you want. You can get a, that, that degree you want. You can build that business, right? So you start off energetic. And if you get to the moment at the very end, what you can do is going to be fun and exhilarating, right? Like a marathon. Like that last mile runs itself. I would imagine. I've never run one, but I promise you, if, I, if I've run 25 miles, that last mile is going to run itself. Because the enthusiasm you have, the push you have, right? So it's the mile. Mile one is easy on a marathon. Mile 26 is easy on a marathon. Mile two through 25 are the hard ones. So you go into it prepared. You go into it with the right mindset, ready to fight the battle, ready to endure, ready to, to, to be insistent on getting through it and winning the race. 
whatever means necessary. And that's it, guys. So I want you guys to remember this. When, you, when, when you're fighting that battle and, and all of a sudden the enthusiasm wanes a little bit and you get tired and you get down on yourself, just remember, guys, you're going to get there. Just keep pushing. Keep grinding. Right? And, and, and you'll have moments throughout this journey where you feel good again. Like driving on a long trip, you might pull over, get you a refresher. You might you might wake the kids up. A song might come on that you like that gets you another you know two three miles down the road of energy. So, but you gotta stay in the car. You gotta keep driving. You gotta keep pushing so you can do it. So you can make it. Right. So the miles in the, in the, in the beginning are easy. The miles at the end are easy. But don't forget. Don't think about and then plan for. Plan for and get ready for. The miles in the middle. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good day.